from your workstation, um, we are going to next do our sanding, and we will do it back in the production room. Next, here in the production room, we want you to just sand right in this area, good spot, and for our super clip. We are not going to sand this area, these flat spots here. Where I place this X, write your first and last name on both of your pieces so it won't get mixed up with your partners. Now, we're going to give you two types of sandpaper, a 180 grit and an 80 grit. On the back side, there might be a number, so it's 180 and 80. 80 is much more rough, more coarse, 80 is much more fine. This, the 80, we are going to use first. You always use the lower number first, the more coarse sandpaper first. All right, and on this edge where we cut with the bandsaw, it is very rough. Compared to everything else, it's pretty relatively smooth, but this is rough. This is the part we want to sand with the 80 grit sandpaper. I would hold on to it with your hand, hold with, I'm right handed, with my left hand, I'm going to hold the sandpaper flat here. I'm going to sand it smooth. Now you'll be able to see where you have some high spots, and this may take some time to get it just smooth. You have to rotate it a little bit. I'm kind of tilting it back and forth, getting all these smooth edges down. To show you how to sand this part, we don't want this to be squared where we cut it off. We want it to be rounded. So I'm going to use the 80 sandpaper and round it. And I'm rotating as I pull down the sandpaper. It'll get a rounded effect. And just keep doing it until you're satisfied with the look, how round your piece is right there. As always, don't forget to do the second piece of sandpaper. It's nice and smooth. Make sure you write your name in this section right here. All right, as you can see, sanding may take a little work. And I expect you to work 10 minutes on sanding. You can also try it another method, hold your piece like this. And you can see all these grooves used to be in there and now it's nice and smooth. I've really worked hard and my hard work's paid off by all the grooves are now gone from my feet. So when you're done with one, the 80 piece of sandpaper, then you move to the 180 and you can sand that piece Now if you've done a good job you'll feel it is much smoother. You can also do the same method like this. All right, now what I've done, you may be able to see here, um, is that I've taken this edge off here. It's no longer nice and square. It's got a square edge here and kind of round it. Just to give it a different feel, you could do that on a number of edges. You could round this edge if you'd like. But we'd like it around this edge for sure. And the way I did it, I held it, held it like at an angle, and kind of rotated it back and forth. And this shouldn't be a real difficult step. Just kind of knock that edge off, get a different feel. And then we're going to sand all your edges with 180, or with the 80, excuse me, the 80 sandpaper. And these are because these are already cut for you, the bandsaw didn't make a rough edge. These sides were much easier to sand off. So you've got everything sanded with the 80, then you'd move to the 180. That's your super clip sand. Make sure you do both sides and check the instructor when you think you're done sanding.
couple of points on the sanding that we want you to focus on are rounding these edges right here. We want you to take it and really sand them back and forth in this edge right here. Take this sharp corner off so it has a more rounded feel. It gives you a better feel on your hand versus having a, a sharp corner edge. So make sure you really sand this first with 80 and then 180. Second thing I want to show you is sanding this edge. Don't forget the ends. Drag it along your eight your 80 piece of sandpaper in a motion like this. I'm rotating it to really round that edge so it takes off any scuff marks that could have been caused by the power sander. Then finish up with 80 or 180 after that. This edge here as well, it's got some rough edges. Take it and just sand it back on these edges a few times. Give it a smoother edge there as well and sand this. So continue sanding your